Every single time the pride flag was ripped down from Laura Ann Carlton's storefront, she put up an even bigger one. And the 66-year-old had to buy quite a few replacements in the two years she operated her clothing boutique. The cost, though, it never bothered her, nor did the occasional harsh word from her conservative neighbors in Cedar Glen, California, a small, politically purple town in the San Bernardino Mountains. In the words of one of her daughters, she was fearless and a fierce ally of the LGBTQ community. Laura, Lori to loved ones, was killed last Friday. She was fatally shot by a man who first spewed a host of disparaging remarks about the rainbow flag that stood outside the store, according to the county sheriff's department. The gunman, who we will not name, was later killed in a confrontation with law enforcement. Lori, by all accounts, was beloved by her community. And earlier this year, after a massive blizzard struck Cedar Glen, Lori and her husband converted their shop into a relief center and actually provided free food for those in need for months. The only person directly responsible for Lori, Lori's death is, of course, the killer. You cannot tie his actions to the homophobic rhetoric of conservatives like Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or even far-right pundits who, for years now, have worked to, quote, make the pride flag toxic. But when you ban saying gay in schools and demonize trans kids and paint queer people as groomers, you end up with hate. And hate can lead to action. And it can lead to more tragedies like Lori's. There's been a surge in anti-LGBTQ demonstrations and attacks in recent years. They have quadrupled by some measurements. According to a report from GLAAD and the Anti-Defamation League, there have been more than 350 anti-LGBTQ hate incidents in just the last year. Of course, bigotry comes in many forms. A different kind of bigotry just led to the deaths of three people, three black people in Jacksonville, Florida. But we cannot cower or hide from this hate. The bigots win if we do that. So we must keep the memories of people like Laura Ann Carlton close to us and the people who died in Florida close as well. And then we must stand up to that hate loud and clear. And whenever possible, we must put up a bigger flag.